This video shows visualizations of fundamental heuristic search algorithms used in artificial intelligence. In this video, we'll see heuristic search operating on a simple problem, grid pathfinding. Pathfinding is a common application of heuristic search. Here we see a very simple pathfinding problem. The objective is to navigate an agent from the start state to the goal state. Starting with the initial state, we consider taking each of the possible actions. Here we show the result of one expansion. Here we show the result of multiple expansions. Heuristic search is very general, and in addition to solving small problems, it can be applied to arbitrarily large problems, including those with interesting structure, such as this map from a real-time strategy game. Here is some sample pseudocode for uniform cost search. It differs substantially from that shown in Russell and Norvig due to duplicate handling. Uniform cost search is a best first search where best is defined to be the node with the minimum g value. This visualization shows the distance of each position on the board from the start state. Since uniform cost search finds the shortest path from the start to each location on the board, these also correspond to the g values used in uniform cost search. The green line represents the partial solution currently being considered. Nodes enclosed have an X drawn through them. The bar at the top of the screen represents the open list. If you look at the G value of the current node, near where the pointer is, you'll see that it is always increasing. Uniform cost search doesn't use a heuristic, so it expands many, many nodes before reaching a goal. Uniform cost search is guaranteed to find optimal solutions. In this problem, the optimal solution has a cost of around 91. Here we see the pseudocode for greedy best first search. It is nearly identical to the code we showed for uniform cost search. The only difference is this line, highlighted in red. Rather than searching based on the cost of getting to a node, greedy search searches in order of the cost to get from a state to the goal, h. For the problems considered here, we use Manhattan distance, which is simply the sum of the horizontal and vertical distance between the current state and the goal, represented here with a dotted red line. This is a map of the h values overlaid on the problem instance. Low values are shown in yellow, large values appear red. The h value increases as we radiate out from the goal state, the blue dot in the upper portion of the board. Unlike uniform cost search, which radiated out evenly from a start state, greedy search heads directly towards the goal. This is because it's actually being guided by a heuristic, whereas uniform cost search was blind. This is the pseudocode for A star, a best first search on F. F is the sum of G and H, and represents an estimate of the total cost of a path starting at the initial state, passing through node N, and ending at the goal. This is a map of the F values overlaid on the problem instance. Low values are shown in yellow, large values appear red. A star is expanding nodes in F order. Here we see A star raking backwards along the search frontier. This is because these nodes have identical F values, and we break ties on F in favor of high G. This may appear foolish, but we must expand these nodes to ensure the quality of the final solution. A star has to expand these nodes in order to prove that they can't lead to a better solution. A star returns exactly the same solution as uniform cost search. A star is guaranteed to find optimal solutions so long as the heuristic is admissible. Weighted A star is very similar to A star. As before, the difference is in search order. Weighted A star selects nodes using a modified version of F in which H is scaled up by some factor W, where W is at least 1. As the value of W increases, weighted A star behaves more like greedy best first search. In the following visualization, W is 1.5. Weighted A star returned a solution of cost 92.6. This is not an optimal solution, however the solution is within a bounded factor of optimal. 
The solution found by weighted A star is guaranteed to be within a factor W of optimal, so long as the heuristic used is admissible.